become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here today i wanted to talk about the first supplement stack geared toward bodybuilders if we look at the history of bodybuilding nutrition, there is one man that stands as the first nutritional guru to both bodybuilders and the stars, and that of course was Rio Blair. I have previously made some videos on Rio Blair and his protein, but today I wanted to expand and talk about Rio Blair's nutritional principles and how through his own research, he came to the realization that nutrition was key to gaining muscle. Knowing this, and through his own experimentation, Irvin Johnson, as he was known then, came out with his own line of supplements and a bodybuilding stack, which I will go through in this video. Enjoy. Irvin Johnson, as he was called earlier in his life, began researching nutrition after he was disappointed with his own lack of results in bodybuilding. Not before long, he realized that nutrition is vital to building a physique. In one of his early publications, namely Irvin Johnson's Scientific Bodybuilding and Nutrition course, which is available on my website, he stated the following, Nutrition is more important than exercise, and if the blood does not contain the bodybuilding materials, the muscles cannot be strengthened or increased in size. The key, of course, was protein, or the lack thereof, in most bodybuilders' diets. As Irvin Johnson said, diets of most bodybuilders are the kiss of death, and therefore they achieve no results, because they eat empty calories instead of nutrient-dense foods, full of protein, vitamins, and minerals. He recommended the consumption of meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and dairy products such as cheese and milk, as well as soy, which at the time was actually quite expensive. Therefore, Irvin Johnson came out with a cheap soy-based protein source alternative called Johnson's High Protein Food, as shown here in this very rare image that I've pulled out from a Strength and Health magazine. It was touted as the miracle food due to the amazing transformations seen in young bodybuilders. Johnson's high protein food contained only 44% protein and was actually Dr. Fern's soy protein relabeled, believe it or not. It is doubtful that it was that effective because he actually, that is Irvin Johnson actually recommended that it be mixed with milk and eggs and taken as a shake to supplement uh, protein into a normal bodybuilder's diet. Johnson's high protein shake was to be made as follows. Three quarters of a cup of high protein powder was used, which basically is about 90 grams. On top of that, you add a pint of milk, almost half a liter, two raw eggs, some flavoring such as vanilla or malt, honey, and blended it up. Um, so it's supposed to actually have tasted like eggnog or malted milk, depending on the flavoring. And it actually had to be taken with uh, Johnson's vitamin B complex as well. The reason why Johnson's protein shake was supposed to be stacked with a vitamin B complex is that at the time, it was believed that due to the bodybuilder's increased demands, boosting uh, the body with B complex uh, with protein allowed for an increase in digestion and assimilation of protein and it also would increase the appetite of the uh, bodybuilder allowing them to put on more muscle on top of that Irvin Johnson recommended the following supplement stack to be taken every day that is Johnson's hepro tablets so um, you'll notice that all of these uh, supplements actually have Johnson's name on them because he came out with his own line of supplements and this is the stack that he actually recommended the bodybuilders to take back then on top of the vitamin B complex in combination with his Johnson's high protein shake. He recommended firstly Johnson's Hepro tablets which were basically 85% pre-digested protein uh, essentially just essential amino acids. He actually recommended 10 to 100 of these tablets a day. 
Next was Johnson's multiple vitamin and mineral capsules, which contained 24 vitamins and minerals, as well as yeast, nutritional yeast, and liver. So a real complex of vitamins and minerals. Four a day was recommended. Johnson's Formula 6 capsules. Now this, uh, many people uh, describe it as a strength capsule, and most likely it was an early form of essential fatty acid uh, supplement. Two to four a day was recommended. Uh, proto liquid amino acid was also uh, recommended. So this proto liquid was basically just a liquid amino acid. One to three teaspoons a day was recommended. Uh, Johnson, for example, Irvin Johnson would have it with eggnog. He would actually um, combine uh, his uh, teaspoon of liquid amino acid with eggnog, and he called this his building, his bodybuilding cocktail, right? And the last supplement on the stack was protein hydrolysate, essentially just a protein concentrate, which was actually 47% protein. All of these were uh, made up the uh, Johnson's bodybuilding supplement stack, pretty much the first bodybuilding supplement stack ever uh, catered for bodybuilding. Now, if you are interested in learning more about Rio H. Blair's nutritional principles, please visit my website for books such as Irvin Johnson's Scientific Bodybuilding and Nutrition Course. That's Rio's first book on bodybuilding and nutrition. Uh, there's also Rio H. Blair and the Secrets of Bodybuilding Nutrition, as well as Rare Rio Blair Special Nutrition Report, Blair's Protein Way of Life, an original booklet he published, uh, sorry, he, he wrote and was never published. It's, um, it's all on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So after his successful line of supplements uh, hit the bodybuilding scene in Chicago, he moved to the West Coast, where the real bodybuilding scene was was really blooming in the uh, in the 60s and 70s, and and of course the rest is history. Uh, greats such as Don Howarth, Larry Scott, and many others followed his nutritional principles. Irvin Johnson, of course, changed his name then to Rio Blair, and he had a massive influence on Vince Gironda's own nutritional principles, as I've already explained in a previous video. I do hope that you have enjoyed watching this video on the first true bodybuilding supplement stack, of course, um, who other than the original, the original nutrition guru, Rio Blair, had to come out with such a thing for bodybuilders. And the, amaz the transformations were truly, uh, were, the transformations were truly amazing, and I will have to cover this topic in another video. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please give, um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the golden era bookworm leave me a comment thank you for watching and please share as well um, if you'd like to support my work please donate via paypal become a patron visit my website for out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding and especially on rio blair you'll find them all on my website and also if you wish to collaborate or pass on your bodybuilding relics please uh, email me on my on my email address which is given below that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.